Okay, I had to switch devices because my camera, <laughs> I didn't realize that the battery wasn't all, all, all. I had to switch devices because I didn't realize that the, my battery on my camera wasn't all the way charged. So anyway, yeah, don't cringe, natural hair stare. Don't cringe, natural hair community. But yes, a few months ago, I permed my hair. So a sister got to do what she got to do in order for me to deal with low manipulation and things like that. And I know the chemicals, You there's a whole argument and all that, but that's neither here nor there. It's done. I'm, I feel good about my decision. I'm keeping it moisturized. And like I said, I did a protein treatment. And my hair is actually tolerating this better than being natural because I don't have to physically comb through my hair every day and I don't have the struggle of detangling and things like that. So the only detangling I really deal with um, is when I'm in the shower. So this is what my hair looks like. And so what I use is Hello Hydration. Um, I initially started using the Hello Hydration um, conditioner, but um, I found they have a conditioning shampoo combo and so I don't I don't wash my hair all the time and I try I'm now I'm trying to do it like every other week and um, so I use the hello hydration uh, shampoo conditioner combo and I rinse that out and what I did this time was I have this um, protein pack that um, I used so I did the protein treatment on my hair while I was in the shower. And then I want to do this kind of like a little mini product review because I love Shea Moisture products. I've used Shea Moisture products um, for years and years and years and years. And um, every time they come out with a new line, um, I don't jump and try it. I kind of wait for the reviews from the naturalistas who um, have been around for a while to kind of give me a little bit of information on what the product is doing uh, for their hair and I'm dealing with 4C and you know all these other different hair types and I'm just trying to wait and see what's going to happen so if it sounds like something that will work well for me and my hair then I'll go ahead and I'll get the products and I'll try them out so far I can't really tell you because I haven't used Shea Moisture in a little while since you know um, especially you know it's been a, it's been at least a few months um, since I've uh, permed my hair so um, but I, so I can't remember exactly what line it was that I felt like it didn't quite do what I was expecting it to do. But I will tell you if I remember that, then I'll come back in another video and share that with you. The latest thing that I've tried, and I've had this actually for a while, is this mask by Shea Moisture. And they actually, this is actually a whole line here, but I only got the mask because I was interested in, since, since I have chemically treated hair, I'm buying a lot of the masks so that I can keep my hair protected and things like that. I do not put heat on my hair every day, but I do put my heat on my hair, which is something I didn't do during the time that I was natural. So we're talking about a span of six and a half years that I was natural. And I, I don't get me wrong, I loved it, but I couldn't deal emotionally deal with the fact that every time I went to style my hair, I had handfuls of hair just coming out. Now you didn't see like ball spots and things like that because I have some really thick, coarse hair. But I could tell my hair was thinning and then on top of that, I used to have a widow's peak and I started noticing that my widow's peak was thinning. So that wasn't good. Um, so anyway, this is the Shea Moisture. So anyway, this is the Shea Moisture uh, Sache Inichi Oil. It has a Omega 3, 6, and 9 Rescue and Hair Repair Mask. So one of the things that caught my attention was the oil that was in here, the fact that it has omega-3 fatty acids, which is something that your body needs in general, um, the omega fatty acids, there's three of these in here. But then it said that it has quinoa and rolls of Jericho extract. So it has a lot of natural, um, it has a lot of natural ingredients that I like the smell of, and I don't know, years ago when I first, um, golly, <sighs> I'm telling my age, we're talking 20 plus years ago, um, I used to be really like heavy in the poetry circuit. And one of the things that anybody who knows, um, been around like the spoken word, the poetry circuit, you have a lot of people that wear dreadlocks and they have natural hairstyles and things like that. And they just smell, their hair smells 
earthy and woody and natural and it is a very attractive scent and so I got accustomed to smelling that and anytime I smell that it takes is very makes me very nostalgic because it takes me back to the time when I was heavy in that circuit and uh, intermingling with uh, individuals who had that kind of reggae Rastafarian type look um, very free spirited and uh, loving and giving and things like that so um, anyway this is what it reminds me of and so it'll show you like all of the, I don't know if you can see that all of the ingredients that it has in it so if you do a screenshot of that you'll be able to see but once again this is the label so what I'm going to do, which is something I haven't done in a little while, is I'm going to go ahead and do a leave-in conditioner. This one has ghee butter and coconut, and this is made by the Organic Roots line. So, and when I was first, um, when I had processed hair before I went natural the first time in 2011, I was, I swear by Organic Roots. I tell everybody I only use their perms, I only use their products, I wouldn't use anything else unless it was made by Organic Roots. Prior to that, I think it was like Cream of Nature, Dark and Lovely. You know, it was just whatever, um, not necessarily was popular, but whatever my hair seemed to respond to during that time. But yeah, so Organic Roots has a whipped, a butter whip leave-in conditioning cream. And let me see if I can get a better shot for you. So that's what that looks like. And, um, oh yeah, back to the uh, mask. Oh my God, it just smells so good. I don't mind my hair because I was just using it. But it's very, very creamy and has a, a nice, thick coating. And you could actually feel, like once you um, wash it out, you can still kind of feel the protection that it gives. Both with that and the, um, the protein treatment. This one is, it actually seems like it has the, yeah, it has the same um, consistency of the has the same consistency of the um, of the mask so anyway what I'm gonna do as kind of a shortcut to uh, styling my hair I'm gonna go ahead and let it air dry and then I'll kind of hit it a little bit with the blow dryer um, and then I'll do the I'm trying to think I think I'll, I'll have to decide, but I can't remember if I usually do the leave-in conditioner because when I have pro when I have chemically treated hair, I do my leave-in conditioner different than when I am natural because I can do my leave-in conditioner when I'm natural when my hair is wet and I just style it. But I think with the chemically treated hair, I have to put it in first and then um, let it uh, blow dry, do the blow dry. We'll see how it works out because, like I said, it's been a while since I used leave-in conditioner since um, with chemically treated hair. But I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go ahead and put it in and then blow dry it or if I'm going to blow dry it and then put it in. I think it also depends on whether it flakes or not because some products, um, you can put it on your hair and then as long as you don't put... Um, like blow dry it or anything and you're manipulating it or whatever then um, it won't flake up some products it will so I just have to figure out what I'm gonna do so what I what I want to do is I'll try like a little bit put it in and then I'll blow dry it and if it seems like it's gonna flake up then I know that I have to put it in afterwards anyway but the next time y'all see me my hair will be straightened and it won't be styled but it will definitely be straightened and ready for me to go to work tomorrow so that's what today is all about Sunday is my wash day and it's also what I call extra grooming day because there are things that I do to my body um, to kind of get me ready for the week and um, those of you girls out there know what I'm talking about you kind of take a little extra care uh, and you know get yourself uh, together for uh, the week so anyway I'll be back I am going to let my hair dry air dry as I watch the game so maybe at halftime I'll come in here and finish everything that I need to be working on so I'll see you in a little bit bye so what's up everybody I am back and I decided to just go ahead and let my hair air dry and I'm really liking the texture because it almost looked like my hair is still uh, natural and so I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to worry about blow drying it or anything. I'm going to go ahead and take the um, leave-in conditioner, some oil, and 
from my Eco Styler Gel. And I'm going to just do like a, a little twist out style <clears throat> and see how it comes out. And then I'll have to let y'all know tomorrow what it looks like. Bye. All right, y'all. So I am back and I have twisted up my hair. It smells so good, y'all. So I will show y'all what it looks like in the morning when I get ready to get myself together for work. All right, so it's going to do it for me for the night, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like in the morning. Bye.